How's it going everyone? So today we are just going to be doing a quick video on how to make spinning slash rotating props. It's pretty easy, you just got to know how to build. Also, you got to make sure you're VIP on the server so you can actually access the uh, easy precision tool. And then we are only going to be using axes. We won't be covering weld or ball socket or anything. That might be for a different video, but we're just going to be using axes. So make sure axis is set and then make sure your menu looks exactly like mine. Okay. So once you've done that, we are going to spawn a symmetrical prop. And this prop is actually going to be um, pretty light. So depending on the prop, if it's a bigger prop, it'll be heavier. Every, every prop in the game has a little bit of weight. So we want to find something that's fairly uh, light so it can spin easier. So once we spawn a symmetrical prop like this platform here, it's a two by two, we are going to spawn a, another prop. And this prop is the prop that it will uh, spin off of. So I just spawned the small square, I don't know if you could see it. And we are going to take our axis tool and we are going to, oops. We are going to, also don't worry about the push pull amount. I don't know why that's a random number. Do not worry about that, 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 does, that doesn't matter right now. That's just for building. So we're going to take our easy precision tool, make sure it's set to axis, and we're going to shoot directly in the middle so it spins evenly. You can, if you want, you can place it on the map itself. But for sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so I just like to place it on a prop just to be safe because I know it'll work. So we'll place it on the, on the prop there and I'm stuck in it, so let me make that no collide. So we can see that it's spinning now. It's spinning off of that prop. Uh, I just made it no collide, so it won't spin, but there you go. So it's spinning now, right? So it won't spin forever, it'll eventually stop. Even if you punch it, it will not spin forever. So we're gonna freeze it. And so this is what pretty much sums up everything, is this external prop. This is what creates the spin itself. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our axis tool again. I spawn the small square We're gonna take the small square. We are going to take our tool All right, make sure it's still set to axis And we're going to shoot in the middle of the square It doesn't matter which side and we're gonna place it on the side of the plate It doesn't matter which side either. So just place it anywhere on the side and then we're gonna take our tool again, and we're going to shoot that square and then we're going to place it either on the right or the left of the original position. And this depends on which direction it, it spins, so we'll just go ahead and place it on the right. It also depends on how far you place it from the original position. That creates a different, uh, I guess you could say, speed. And we'll just go ahead and unlock it now. After we shot it uh, again for the second time slightly to the right, we'll go ahead and unlock it. And it should spin by itself. Cool. So like I said, if it was a bigger prop, if this plate, uh, plate was bigger, it wouldn't spin. Um, maybe it'll spin a little bit slower, but it, that little prop right there can't spin much, uh, much heavier than this. So something this size is perfect for that small little square. We could also change this right here, that small square to a bigger square or another rotating prop. It doesn't have to be a square. It can be any prop. We could spawn something like this and we can place it on the side. And what this will do is this will create a faster speed of rotation because the prop is bigger, so the force is stronger, and it'll make it spin faster. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about making it spin off of a specific point. So what if we were to do something a little bit more complex? Let's say we were to spin off of a floating point. And when I say floating point, I mean something like this. So we have a circle here and then we want it to spin off of a floating point so this square right in the middle we want it to spin off of that prop so we can actually do that just make sure it's centered make sure the square is centered and that looks pretty even maybe a little bit lower here I think that's about even yeah that's about even so to make it this big sphere spin off of the center point, a floating point. What we want to do is we want to go back to our axis tool <clears throat> and then we want to uncheck this moving target, uncheck it. And that's 
Before, if you remember, we spawned the platform and we clicked it and then we click the prop and it snapped to that prop. That's because that was checked. It won't do it now because it's unchecked. So we're gonna go ahead and create almost like an invisible line here. So we're gonna shoot here on the side and then we're going to shoot here on the side of the square. And this creates like an invisible uh, line that rotates off of it. So it's rotating off of that invisible line as you can see. And so once, uh, once we do that, we can actually create the rotation now using our small square again. We'll go ahead and make sure this is rechecked too because if you were to make sure, if you were to un, uh, keep it like this, it won't snap to the prop. So we wanna make sure it's uh, rechecked and we are going to shoot the square, place it on the side that it'll rotate off of, I guess. And then we are going to shoot the square again to create the force to make it actually spin. We are going to unlock the square and it should spin on its own. So you can see it's not a smooth spin because it is pretty heavy. It is a heavy prop to spin. It starts to slow down as it hits the peak there. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna replace that small rotating prop. We're gonna replace the external prop with a bigger prop to make a more even spinning motion because it's a, it's a heavier prop to spin and this is a heavier prop so it should create a little bit more force to make it uh, spin evenly. So we're gonna go ahead and create that force there. We're going to unlock it and it should spin a little bit smoother now. Yep, so it, as you can see, the bigger prop makes it, uh, makes bigger prop spin. And a little tip here is if you want to make all the access point, whether it be a specific access point or a floating access point like this, you can actually make these invisible by going to your materials menu and then going all the way down to the lag. It's called lag. And then we just place uh, place the material on, on these squares here. It doesn't work on bigger props like this. so. It works on the squares. That's why I use the squares is because I can make them invisible. So that is how you do that. If you were to save, you can try to save, but it will not save the axis points. So you can, you can, um, here, I'll show you what I mean. So we'll try to save, save this, right? We'll try to save our little rotating build here. We'll paste it and it just falls straight to the ground. That's because all the axis anchor points that we made they're just gone. They don't save. So that's how you do that. Uh, also, another thing is if the server, if the server is up and it's laggy and there's a lot of people, sometimes the access points will just completely stop working and they'll just like vanish. So it'll like freeze in place and you're like, why is it frozen? You'll try to unlock it to make it rotate. It'll just fall to the ground. Just like, just like you pasted it it'll just fall straight to the ground. So that's pretty much how you do that. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to cover. You can pretty much make, like I said, anything in the game spin. If it's a big, big prop, like <laughs> let's say something like, uh, where, is it, where is it, where is it? Something like, like this. You could technically make this spin but you would need a pretty big external force prop to actually make it spin. So that's uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about making everything spin. Um, you can uh, also get in a sit about it because it sometimes, depending on the staff, they'll say it lags the server. So don't neglect it too much. So that pretty much is everything. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good day now.